whenever you need to connect two different profiles along the path, you need to use a swift blend tool in Revit. That's the combination of the blend tool and the sweep tool and if you may wonder how you can use blend or sweep tool just take a look in my two previous tutorials and in this one I'm going to explain you how you can create this shape here and I have to explain you how that tool works so first of all I'm going to break down this geometry and I'm going to explain you how we can create this wall here so I'm thinking on this one so first of all we have this path as you can see and then we have a profile 1 which starts here and then we have a profile 2 which goes there so that's all so profile 1 profile 2 and then it goes along the path so first of all what i'm gonna do to be able to create this wall here is to go to the architecture component model in place i will just pick generic model as a category it's not important that much in this case and i'm gonna go here to the sweep blend then first of all i need to go here and create pad and then i'm gonna take the radial one so i will just make the radius of let's say three meters confirm the radius i will go to 3d view and i'm gonna create profile one i will make it as a rectangle and then i'm gonna use temporary dimensions so i'm gonna make this one meter and then let's say the thickness of 100 confirm Profile 1, go to Profile 2, and then make one here. So I'm going to make it to be 3 meters by, let's say, 100. Just confirm the path, and you see, that's it. It's very simple to use this tool, actually, because, as I said, this is the combination of two previous tools. So this one works as a combination of Blend and Sweep Blend, so we have a two profiles which goes along the path and that's it. If you have any questions about the swept blend tool, just feel free to write in the comments or even better, join our free community of architects and interior designers. So there you can pop up the questions in our community tab and we are going to provide you help. Please keep in mind that here next to the free community, we also have a free Revit training where you can enjoy over nine hours of content and also take the downloadable project files. And to understand better how the modeling tools in Revit works, just watch this playlist.